everybody, Dr. Buell here, and in today's vlog, you're gonna meet some really cool folks. I've been teaching and practicing Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractic for 10 years now, and I've been fortunate enough to go around the country and teach it, and I wanna introduce you to some special people, some special docs that I teach. I want you to get a sense of what the heck this stuff is. What is upper cervical care? And in particular, the Blair technique, and why should you care about it? So what the heck is Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractic? Well, to, to give it to you short here, we could talk about it forever, but the bottom line is this. Upper cervical care is based on the idea that your brain and your brain stem specifically controls and coordinates every tissue cell in your body. Every single tissue and organ in your body, every organ system is coordinated for your benefit by your brain stem. Your brain stem is the little, you may have seen in the other vlogs, it's the base of your brain. It's the Houston control they used to call. You might call it the central CPU or the main cell phone tower. It's the thing that runs your life and runs your health. Without you blinking an eye, without you thinking about it, your brain stem is behind the scenes working for you. And so upper cervical chiropractors deal specifically with the alignment of the very top two neck bones. They happen to be the weakest, most vulnerable bones in your spine, and if they misalign or twist or go out of place, it can actually change the fluid dynamics of your head. It's a really important thing. And Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractors are one of a half dozen upper cervical certifications that chiropractors can get. And in Blair, we do three-dimensional imaging of the articulations, the knuckles of your neck is what I like to say, you know. Um, some techniques are looking to realign the whole head and neck together. Blair doctors are looking at the individual knuckles of the neck and picking our shots, so to speak. And so we do these 3D x-rays, whether it's full 3D like we do here in uh, Pittsburgh, or whether it's taking x-rays from all three angles or five to nine angles, depending on what the doctor, of the neck and it's precise and the adjustment itself, the correction is extremely gentle and extremely precise. And I've been going around the, the East Coast and, and teaching this work for the last five to 10 years and it's been really rewarding. Uh, we have doctors that go from full spine clinics and transfer their, their uh, clinical care over to upper cervical. We also have students that are learning upper cervical to graduate and practice upper cervical in their communities. And I've run the gamut of them. I'm actually humbled, humbled when it's doctors that have been in practice for 30, 40 years and they're just kind of tired of the status quo and, and where their practice is and they want to take it to the next level. They want to be more precise. What stabilization hand does is keep the pisiform on the contact point for as long as possible. It just provides a, a, like a downward pressure, but, the, but the, the support hand is not pushing down at all. Shallow convergence angle is another really big one. If you've got it, remember it's 17 to 33. So if you're under 17 degrees, you're probably going to want a side opposite. There it is coming down that track and it's here. Then when I come around on that transverse, I'm here right in line with that, with the 90 degree line, right? So, but it's more than just a job. When I first started, my, my family couldn't even understand it. They said, why are you so obsessed about your job? It's not a job. I get to help people live a fully expressed life or a more fully expressed life. So it really defines who I am. Um, I'm able to help people at their worst. A lot of people when they come in, they come in at their worst. They've been to neurologists, they've been to orthopedists, they've been to other chiropractors and physical therapists. And I get to look at an area that's been overlooked. And when we work with that area, a lot of them improve. So I get to tell these people, look, there's still hope. You still have an innate intelligence in your body that's smarter than I am. And I just need to help that innate wisdom of your body function at a higher level. That's a powerful thing. My name is Dr. Jonathan Zwerka from Rochester, New York, and I've been practicing for 12 years. Upper cervical came because of a friend of mine um, that said to me, you've tried every other technique for your problem, when are you going to try upper cervical? And being a chiropractor for 10 years beforehand, um, it was very hard for me to believe that he was going to do something in my neck to fix my lower back pain. So he said if he puts on a seminar, would I attend it and would, he let, would I let him try and help me with my problems. And uh, at that day, that seminar, my problems went away. My name is Dr. Brian Pokorski. I've been practicing for 18 years in Buffalo, New York. Uh, I had seen Dr. Ian at a Lyceum in New York State. Uh, this is a couple years ago. 
and I was really interested. He was coming up with some great things. Uh, he was introducing us as a profession, if you will, in Western New York to cone beam and the application of it in chiropractic. And it made a tremendous amount of sense. Um, he was immediately followed up by Dr. Andy Gibson, another Blair practitioner. I didn't know anything about upper cervical at the time. It was just happened to be two Blair guys. And um, they're talking about, you know, Ian with the CBCT, Dr. Andy with the uh, um, a case study of sorts, if you will. And it all jived. But what was interesting is after this is all said and done, I kind of talked to Dr. Bulo and said, you know, I'm really interested. What do you do? How do you get involved with upper cervical? I've been a full spine practitioner for, you know, 15, 16 of those years, 16, 17 of those years. It happened to be at the same time the Diplo Diplomate program was starting. He says, well, do the Diplomate. I get into the, to the Diplomate program with literally no idea of how to perform an upper cervical adjustment. Dr. Casey Crisp was handling anatomy, and one of his best contr you know, contr contributions to the profession was doing a very large study on C2 axis anomalies. He goes through this whole thing, and it was really, excuse me, really intriguing. I was really happy to be there and learning quite a bit. And I go to lunch with all the diplomates in the program, and I said, well, so who out of all, because all five upper cervical uh, techniques are represented very well, which one of you guys takes into account all these anomalies? And the Blair guys get this big smile on their face, right? And I said, well, wh great, that makes sense to me, because I just learned that there is no such thing as symmetry, which is what Blair has taught about forever. So cool, I'm going to do Blair then. From there, it was a circumstance where, again, it's coming up now towards the time where I need to become proficiency certified. Let's take the advanced technique. I don't necessarily know why I continue to come back to Ian with one exception. He's super passionate. It's a situation where um, he, the excitement just sort of bubbles out of him. That keeps me engaged. He's hands on. You know, if I'm set up and my hips aren't in the right place, he kind of nudges me in the right direction make sure everything is set up so that my certainty ultimately goes way up when I'm going back to my practice. My name is Dr. John Murray from Clinton, New Jersey, Murray Chiropractic. I've been a practicing chiropractor since about 38 years. The upper cervical area is just so important and I heard Dr. Kale express it one way. He goes, you know, in the old west they didn't hang a horse thief by the waist. Okay, you know, we, we, people will say, why is my, lo my lower back's hurting? Why are you working on my upper neck? Well, because of just that fact. So, just so important to have a, an understanding of the upper cervical area. The ability to see a broad scope of patients. When, you know, when someone's 18 years old with no asymmetry, no abnormality, and very little degenerative changes and things like that, the ability to apply force expands the method in which you do it. But Blair works on the most difficult cases, severely arthritic, degenerative cases, functional problems, structural problems, on the most difficult cases. So here's the thing. If Blair technique works on the most difficult cases, why wouldn't you use it on people who aren't in that state? If it works great for the tough ones, it's going to work great for the, let's say, easier ones. There are no easy cases because you have to do the right thing, but the Blair upper cervical technique changed my life many years ago. My name is Dr. Kevin Pekka. Uh, my practice is located in West Orange, New Jersey at Montclair Upper Cervical Chiropractic. I've been in practice for about two years now. The Blair Upper Cervical Technique completely saved my life. I had a bunch of ice hockey concussions and for four years I had brain fog and blurred vision, dizziness and headaches. Saw other chiropractors, physical therapists, neurologists, CAT scan, blood work, everything was fine. There was people telling me I was going to have to live with it, like all these symptoms for the rest of my life. And I landed in a Blair Upper Cervical office and no joke, complete, I was not functional before I found Blair. This completely saved my life. I feel better than I ever have and that's why I do the work, yeah. My name is Zach Apoja. Um I'm from around this area where we're at right now, so Clinton, New Jersey. Um, I graduated Palmer. Uh, College of Chiropractic in Iowa, like six months ago. So March of this year, 2018. So I guess pretty a lot newer than most of the people you've interviewed already. Um, how I got into upper cervical, well how I got into chiropractic was Dr. John Murray, whose place we're at right now. Uh, you know, I'm not that comfortable with that technique because I haven't learned it 
the way that I've learned everything else throughout school. So this has made me much more comfortable now that when I walk into a patient, let's say at John's office where I'm working right now, I'm a lot more comfortable. A lot more comfortable taking x-rays. In a general sense, just more comfortable with the technique. I'm Dr. Hillary Schweitzer now as Dr. Hillary Murray, but a couple months ago I got married. Um, I graduated in 2016 in October from Davenport, Iowa campus and now work at Murray Chiropractic here in New Jersey. I've been under Blair Care since I was I think about 10 years old. Um, Dr. Margaret Banich in New Jersey, my dad started seeing her and then got my siblings involved as well. Um, so I've been receiving Blair Care since about that age and always knew I wanted to get involved in the practice um, Blair Technique as well because it helped me as a kid and my dad's been adjusting me that way as well. Blair Technique, it's an awesome technique and it's ex definitely expanded our practice as well and we're able to offer the Blair Upper Cervical Technique to patients whether they are here for health and maintenance but also some of the hardest cases can be helped with Blair Upper Cervical Technique and some patients don't prefer the twisting type diversified adjustments. So this is a wonderful option with no twisting and your head's in a neutral position. And it's definitely helped some of our hardest cases where that we're able to get a very specific technique with the x-rays. And now cone beam CAT scans are amazing too. So a lot of progress in this technique. Dr. Bilo, he's awesome. He's very hands-on, um, very easy to listen to as well. And I understand it a lot more because it is a complex technique. So it definitely with the table and hands-on approach as well as really showing us in detail and explaining and answering a lot of questions that we have is wonderful. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this week's vlog. And don't forget to stay connected with me through my podcast, Staying Connected with Dr. Ian Bulow, and on all social media platforms at Dr. Ian Bulow. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, things that you want to see more of, message me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.